Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up email on your iPhone or iPad. The device I'm demonstrating on today is an iPhone 6S Plus running the latest iOS 9 software. Now, if you have an earlier iPhone or iOS, the procedure for setting up email will be identical. So please continue viewing and in no time, you'll be accessing all of your emails on your device. This particular tutorial will show you how to set up your own personal work or business email account, otherwise known as POP or IMAP. The first step is to tap on the settings icon on the home screen of your mobile device. Scroll down until you see the mail contact calendars icon. Tap on this and you may in fact see an email account already set up from a previous attempt or an iCloud email account that may have been created automatically when you first set up your iPhone. If this is the case, you can choose to leave it there in place or delete the account. Moving along to the setup procedure now. So to add a new email account, tap the add account button. Then you'll see a list of options ranging from iCloud to Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL, or Outlook.com. For POP and IMAP emails, tap on the final option called other. In the next screen that appears, tap on add mail account. In the name field, enter your name. This will be the name that appears in the sender field in the recipient's email when they open your email. So make sure you put something tangible here, either your full name or business name. Then your email address and password, make sure you type these in accurately, ensuring the email address contains the at symbol and a valid domain name suffix, such as .com, .net, .org, etc. If you don't have this information handy, check with your hosting provider and they can reissue these for you. Finally, in the description field, enter in something that describes your email account. This can be anything you like. Try to use something that helps you identify your email account you're using as this can be helpful if you're running multiple email accounts. You can simply re-enter your name or put in your business name or even a descriptive title like work email personal email, etc. Once all these fields are occupied, you'll notice that the next option on the top right hand corner of the screen is now highlighted in blue. Go ahead and tap this and go to the next screen. Now you'll need to decide whether to set up your email as a POP or IMAP account. If you have your email set up on another computer and intend to use your iPhone or iPad as a secondary means to access email, then you can select IMAP. You'll notice that the first three fields are already filled in from the previous input screen. Directly below are the incoming and outgoing mail servers, which now require completion. Once again, you may need to check the exact information needed with your web hosting company, but usually they're all quite similar. In the hostname field, you can enter an address in the convention of mail. For my server, it will be mail.touchtechnologyreview.com. Yours will be that of your domain. The username should be the same as the email address. In my case, it will be info at touchtechnologyreview.com. The password for your email account is the same one that you filled in on the first screen. Then in the final step, you need to set up the outgoing mail server. Most often you can use the same details that you specified for the incoming server. So tap and hold on the host name field in the incoming server area and select all and tap and hold your finger on the outgoing mail server hostname field to paste it in. If you find it easier to simply retype the information into this field, then by all means do so. Enter the same username and password that you used above. Keep in mind that you don't actually need these for the outgoing mail server, but if you leave them blank, you'll be sending messages without using SSL. Tap on the next button at the top of the screen, which will now be highlighted in blue. After this point, you may see a final screen pop up asking you to review the certificate details, simply tap on the continue button and wait for your device to verify the details with your server. Keep in mind, this can be particularly slow, taking anywhere from five seconds to one minute. So you'll need to exercise some patience here. Once successful, the words account added will appear at the top of the screen and you can now save the email account by tapping on the save button. If you didn't specify a username and password in the outgoing mail server field, another message may have popped up somewhere in between. Same 
saying that it can't connect using SSL. Do you want to try setting up the account without SSL? Enter yes in this field. That's it. If you followed all these steps, you should be ready to go and send and receive emails on your mobile device. Head back to the home screen, tap on the email icon to open up your email app and send yourself an email to test it out. All going well, you should see the email appear right there in your inbox. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more iOS tips and tutorials like the one you've just seen along with product unboxing videos and reviews.